Hello lovelies, thanks for stopping by. So today I have a scrapbook layout for you. Um, it's actually been a while since I've done a scrapbook layout. I just, it's been a while since I've really created anything. I think I maybe create something once or twice a month for my scrap FX posts. I really need to get out more and get in my art room more. I just, yeah, I find my mojo lacking a bit now and then. So I really need to make the effort to, to get back into it because I had so much fun making this layout today. So this is a picture of my lovely Ruby Lee and her goggy. She loves her goggy. This is our dog, Sam. And when Ruby was first born, he, he basically ignored her. Um, she took daddy's attention and he didn't like that. So he just ignored her. Well, Ruby started eating solids and Sam discovered that she dropped a lot of food on the floor. So they have become best friends. So now she can crawl over to him and pat him and crawl all over him. And he just lays there and licks her and gives her kisses. He loves her just as much as she loves him. So it's, it's a lovely relationship. And I have many photos like this. And the new Scrap FX dog-themed bits and pieces were perfect for this. I saw this in my DT pack. And I'm like, oh my goodness, these are going to be perfect. So I'm starting with the paw print chipboard. I'm using all the chipboard on um, this layout today. And I wanted to do something a bit different. I wanted to put paw prints on my background paper. So I'm using the chipboard like a stamp. Didn't work as good as I thought it would, but I fixed it in the end. So I've just got some uh, paint. It's like a, a raw umber color. No, this, I don't know, it's, it's a brown. I use two shades of brown. I don't usually use brown. So yeah, this whole color palette, totally not me, but it went really well with the photo. So I've put some paint on the chipboard piece and then I'm stamping it onto my cardstock and it's giving me a really cool paw print, paw print background. As you can see, some of my paw prints weren't um, very solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with a paintbrush and just fill those spots in and it actually ends up working really well. I love how this turned out and it was so simple to do. Just a bit of chipboard, bit of paint and plonk, plonk, plonk. It was a lot of fun. I did, um, I do love this. So this is a, a good way of um, making your own pattern paper if you don't have any pattern paper that matches. I did, but I just wanted to, to do something different with my chipboard. I, I struggle to use chipboard sometimes. It's one of those, it's my, it's not something I go to often. I actually have to remind myself I have it and pull it out to use. And that's actually what happened with this layout. It was more of a, um, I actually had a, I was going to do something different. And I actually forgot I had this. And as I was going through my album to pick a photo, I saw this picture of Ruby and Sam and I thought, oh, perfect. This will work nicely. So that's what I have done. I have gone through and decided to do a really cute, um, yeah, layout with Ruby and her goggy. So once I fix up the paw prints, I'm then going to add a bit of water to my paint and throw some splatters in a few places. This was mostly to try and cover up where I messed up down the bottom corner. But you know me, I have to add splatters to just about everything. I love splatters. They just, I don't know, they're just my thing. So I've thrown some splatters on my background and then that's going to be all for my background. Nice and simple, not too messy if you don't count the splatters, but yeah, I really love how it turned out. So now I'm gonna work on um, my photo and my matting. So I did wanna mat my photo, and this is just some pattern paper from a dog collection from Kaiser Craft that I have had for years. So our dog Sam is seven this year, and obviously Will was his best friend first. And so I've had heaps of photos of the dog, and I had planned to use this collection to scrap. I've never touched it. So <laughs> I thought I'd get some, uh, some of the pattern papers out. I was going for the browns. As you can see, Sam is uh, a yellow lab. So he's got like a light coat and Ruby is wearing, I just noticed she's wearing her Dalmatian jammies. Well, that works out well, but they're also, um, go with the color scheme. Thankfully she wasn't wearing anything hot pink or anything like she normally does. But yeah, as you can see, the colors or I'm drawing from my photo. So my tiles as well. So it's just like a, I've gone with the browns and I've used this little paw print photo, the um, pattern paper and the wood grain. Now I wanted the wood grain because it was darker as my base layer. And then I'm using a small amount of the paw print 
pattern paper. Try saying that five times really fast. And that's because I had the paw prints in the background. So it draws the paw prints into it, but the pattern, I'm not using a big chunk of the pattern paper that you can see. So it's not too much, if that makes sense. So I cut a bigger layer because I had intended to put a banner down the bottom for my um, title but I overguesstimated and it was a bit too big so I cut it down and then because I have been discovering you know new supply old supplies rediscovering old supplies I found some of this linen thread that I had on my desk so I thought I would use it just for something a bit more around my photo layer so I'm just roll, um, wrapping that around three times and that's my photo layer ready to go I'm going to adhere that to my paper my background and then I'm going to make my title banner so I really like how this came together I, I sometimes I struggle with pattern paper I'm not a pattern paper scrapper I am a mixed media scrapper I go through more cardstock than anything but lately I have been really enjoying um, using pattern paper and doing more I don't know I, th I think sometimes I feel like I fall into a rut where all my mixed media layouts look similar and that bugs me so I decided to um, plus I see a collection I like and I buy the whole thing and it sits in my storage behind me and I really got to start using it more there's no point saving things until you know until you know for the perfect layout because it doesn't exist you're just gonna keep it in your cupboard and never use it so I really want to use all my my lovely products that I spend so much bloody money on so anyway <laughs> enough of that little tangent um the paw prints I have used for my background I'm going to paint them in a darker brown to go with my wood grain so this is the raw umber <laughs> I looked at the color and I've used a couple of coats because I really want it to be darker because I wanted them to stand out from the paw prints in the background and I'm going to use them to embellish my layout. Now, I knew I wanted one down the bottom, the bigger one, but I needed to put my banner down first. So I have cut um, the paw print paper into a little fishtail banner, done a squiggly border because I just like squiggly borders and I just feel like it really helps. I don't know. It just looks really good. And then I'm adhering that on top of my thread so you can still see some of it poking out and underneath my photo a little bit. So it sort of ties this whole little square of pattern paper all together. And then I'm going to use some more chipboard for my title. So I have the chipboard piece that says man's best friend. I decided to edit it a little bit. So I cut off the part that says man's and uh, so I'm hacking up my chipboard. And then I'm going to get some um, very plain alphas that I have. I think I bought them from the reject shop. They're nice and small and they're going to fit right next to it here. And I'm going to write, well, at first I plan to go Ruby's best friend. I end up changing it to baby's best friend because I just think that goes with the whole man's best friend, baby's best friend type thing. So hand in hand. And I just really like how that worked. So I paint the whole title, so the thickers and the chipboard, with the same um, raw umber that the paw prints are in. I like the dark, I like the two colors of brown, but I like everything in that darker, like my title and the um, chipboard paw prints in the darker one, because it helps them pop more. And I just, I really like that. So this is where I decided to change my mind and go baby's best friend instead of Ruby's best friend. And I just love that title so much more. So even though they are sticky backed um, thickers or alphas, I am using glue because, well, nothing holds forever. And also because I've painted them, um, I was just a little worried that they might slip and fall off. So I've just glued them down and that's my title. And now I'm just going to add my paw prints. So I've, like I said, I've painted them darker to stand out from the paw prints in the background. And I've put one just above my title and then I'm going to put another one up in the left hand corner I'm using I'm taking advantage of the white space in of the not white space the negative space in my photos so when I have some negative space in photos I do tend to like um you know embellishing on those I'm looking at it now I'm thinking I probably could have added a few more bits and pieces in my little um clusters they're not really clusters they're just embellishments so maybe um I might go back and add some enamel dots or something but yeah, I decided to add a doodle border because, well, I like these borders, especially when I use white cardstock and I have mixed media on the background. I just help that it, I find that it helps sort of draw it all in and keep it all like, I don't know, it just sort of finishes it off for me. And then I've added a bit of journaling that just says Ruby loves her goggy. And that's it for the layout. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will be back real soon with another one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.